Good morning and hello from RGV Rescue Rangers. My name is Chris and today we have Jax on the program. The main goal for our sessions with Jax is to introduce etiquette. So when his parents have, his pet parents have guests over, um, he doesn't go crazy. When people pass by the front of his house, he isn't so reactive. He doesn't go crazy barking. So we're looking at a lot of redirection with Jax. We're trying to uh, create a lot of positive associations with him. We're teaching him new skills. That way, when we do put ourselves in these situations or find ourselves in these situations, we have the means to communicate with him and get ourselves out of those predicaments. Okay. So if I can... So this is actually our second do do? session with Jax, oh, yeah, and as you can see, things do take a little bit of time to sink in look, look. for the okay. pet parents okay. and the well, owners. Take the it takes time to change our behaviors, uh, and it takes time to learn to be a teacher like and like instruct uh, properly. So we, we but I would the, say that like his, his pet anyway. parents okay. and um, um, Jax, and, uh, they're uh, both doing very well. So our last session with Jax, we did go over some of our basic curriculum. We wanted to teach him place. We wanted to teach him to sit, sit for a little bit of duration, and respond to his name. We also went over leash handling and proper gear selection. If you notice, he did have a prong collar on a little bit earlier in the film. Anytime you're using a prong collar or any type of tool that applies pressure, you definitely want to have the okay, so correct fitting and okay. typically all of that how's stuff going? is going to be located how's, along the so jawline of your dog. Doing? So uh, we if we went the route of the prong collar, okay. we would definitely want to adjust our gear or okay. um, just take it off completely because it's not applying the pressure where we want it. That, uh, so I not to go too much into Whoa. the gear selection, but as far as the prong collar was concerned, we found that we didn't even need it. Um, we relied heavily on just trying to redirect him and keep his attention on us. And, you know, every time that he he was looking at me or became attentive to me, we began just giving offering him food. So we're, there we're trying to create a positive association. Some would say that um, you know why would you give a, a like, why would you reward a dog for barking like that my, um my, my, it's like, i wouldn't think of it more as a reward all the stuff that i saw this on to. uh susan garrett's podcast and i've been trying this out with a few clients and it it really does help out when a dog sees uh something that he's reactive to if we're if he's able to take food He's able to take his mind somewhat off of this so distraction, was, hey, and you you might be able to to communicate with him a little bit better. You know what I mean? So this guy's just like a. Food so it did get dark pretty fast, uh, but wonderful. that was an hour session with Jax, and he actually did pretty well. There was a family that was taking their kids for a walk on the street. We worked a little bit on our redirection, adding distance, keeping his attention, things like that. Um, so now we're just finishing up. I'm actually able to give him treats. I was actually able to ask him to sit for a little bit of like duration. Um, so we ended on a good note and we're gonna see how he progresses. Well, thank you guys for stopping by. I definitely want to have more information for you guys. I know that training isn't cheap. So hopefully more videos like this will help out. Um, if you heard my cats purring or my dog snoring or playing with their toys in the background, we do apologize, but uh, they got to keep, keep on keeping on. And um, hopefully we'll have another video for you very shortly. Thank you and you guys have a great day. Uh, enjoy your time with your pets and we'll see you soon.